Have you ever heard a term over and over and over again and you're sitting there like, what? And quite frankly, you're just too embarrassed to just say, hey guys, um, can somebody tell me what that means? Because let's be real for a second. Most of us are too proud or we feel like, oh, we have too many college degrees to so simply tell somebody, yeah, I don't know what that is. Or can you break that down for me? So we tend to end up sitting there mute and quiet and just laughing <laughs> and playing along like we really know what we're talking about. Let me know down below in the comments, has this ever been you? Well, today I wanna help you by breaking down what is the science of reading the science of reading has become the new way of an education and I want to make sure that the next time you're in a room or professional development and they say science of reading you're not sitting there like uh-huh yeah and you don't know what they're talking about <laughs> My name is Aja. Here on this channel, I help teachers and parents just like you make education as fun and simple as possible. If this sounds like you, then make sure that you subscribe below. Today, I wanna help you understand the basics of the science of reading. So the science of reading is a term that has been around for years. This is not something new. Some of you guys might refer to it as the old school way of teaching. And by old school, I'm not talking about us millennials because I certainly was not taught like this but for others this might actually be how you were taught reading for me I was simply taught through memorizing sight words so when I was learning how to read the new wave was all about sight words so I was actually taught how to memorize words and I was not taught phonetically so I'm a true testament to say the memorization and sight word method does not quite work the best for me that's probably what made me a really good reading teacher because I did didn't want kids to go through the same struggles that I went through. Anyways, back to the topic, science of reading. All right, so let me break down exactly what is the science of reading. It's pretty much the opposite of every other thing that you guys have been learning the last few years. It's the opposite of balanced literacy, the opposite of whole brain teaching, and especially the opposite of learning through play. Now, the science of reading was developed after decades and decades of scientists actually studying and researching how the human brain learns how to read. With that, it really narrows down on how we relate sounds with letters. You might know this as phonics. Phonics actually serves as the backbone when it comes to the science of reading. So over time, the science of reading has technically been known as the phonics approach. And this is simply because if you believe in the science of reading, then you believe that all children must sit there and get explicit lessons that go over relating sounds to letters. And through those explicit lessons, kids are able to tackle different words in text. The reason I said that this is the complete opposite of everything else out there, because if you believe in the balanced literacy approach, then you believe that children need to fall in love with learning through good books and nice strategies. So the science of reading approach of having kids sit there and learn certain reading patterns might not fit in your boat. And if you believe through learning through play and you just simply believe that if you give a child a book, they'll over time learn that that word is bad, then you definitely would absolutely disagree with the science of reading approach. Needless to say, with all these different philosophies about reading, us as educators and parents, we truly just want the best for our children. So the next question is, okay, once I do this explicit lesson, then what? Well then you must give kids time to practice whatever skill it was that you just taught them. And kids really do this through repetition and practicing. And what better way to do repetition and practicing than good old game? If you're teaching things such as sight words like I taught earlier, then make the sight words fun. You can actually download your very own sight word games down below in the description. I have the link. So once you teach that great explicit lesson, give them time to practice. If you want to see these games in action, I have you covered in this 